Okay, so quick video on the firmware. Um, I'm not going to do a uh, step-by-step or a long stream on how to do the firmware because I found it was really pretty easy. Um, so you need to get your board out uh, for the kit. Uh, so you should have a Mellow CDY version 3.0. And grab that board out, get it set up. You're going to need to have a USB cable that can connect to your PC or, in my case, a Mac. And you're going to need 24 volts. Uh, it's, it's a mess in there, but there's a 24 volt power supply in there. So you're going to need 24 volt power at some points. Um, <clears throat> you're going to need to start by getting the board out. Uh, and uh, I'm using the, this is, this came out of the box. So I'm just using the, the foam lid, uh, foam top piece out of the box. Uh, first place to go is uh, you're going to go to... Uh, LDO's documentation page uh, and look in their wiring guide. Uh, I know that's kind of a weird place to find this, but there's uh, uh, some steps with the main board you're going to have to do in the wiring guide. Uh, let me zoom you in here just a little bit. Uh, so there is a, a, a section here for preparing the main board uh, and the you'll need to do these steps. There's certain jumpers that need to be put in place uh, and you also need to put the fuse on the board. So uh, I'll, I'll click in here so you can see uh, what they want you to do. So uh, over here on the very right between the two uh, large green power uh, inlets or power connectors, there's a fuse that goes in there. Uh, and there's these yellow spots where jumpers need to go. And then there are a secondary Z output that needs to be shorted. I uh, believe that that... Uh, um, I really don't know why that, that needs to be. Usually that um, has to do with running 2Z motors or not running 2Z motors. But anyway, they want you to put two jumpers in the Z2 slot. But all that is outlined in LDO's wiring guide. Find this picture and do everything on the board like it tells you to. Once you get that done, then you're going to go uh, to the Millennium Machines uh, website. You're going to pull that up and... Uh, get to you can just go to the millennium machines website uh there's a document shed which is just kind of like a merged documentation uh go to the assembly guide and then go to install rrf uh and this section all of this is really straightforward i had no trouble going through step by step and doing this i'll give you a couple tips as you go through uh that may help you out uh first thing is as you go through here uh when when you set up a file structure on your SD card, at one point it's going to tell you to check your work, and you should have these folders. You're not going to have the G codes and the macros folder. Just create them. You just need to make them empty folders on the root of the card. Um, trying to think what else is down here. All this is pretty straightforward. Uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi is case sensitive. Uh, please be sure that you put in your Wi-Fi is case sensitive. Mine had a capital letter as the first letter, and I did not put in the capital letter, and it failed. So make sure that you're case sensitive on your SID and, of course, on your password. Um, and that's really it. Um, once you're done, you should have, you know, a screen that kind of looks like this. This is a, D, this is a RepRap uh, DWC. Um, now that's pretty much it. Um, I really didn't have a whole lot of trouble with this. So I'm not going to drag this video out. The firmware was pretty quick. I do recommend that you do the firmware separately on the bench like this, rather than doing it when it's inside the electronics, uh, enclosure or table, whatever they call it. Recommend you do it this way. Uh, once it's in the electronics, um, enclosure, it's hard to get, hard to get to the USB is hard to get to or the, um, uh, SD card is, is kind of difficult and you can't plug in a USB cable once you've installed this. So make sure to do this first before installing it into the electronics table. Um, that's it. I think that's, that's going to wrap up all the firmware parts pretty easy. Catch you on the next one.